Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Range Report. As the country starts to open up somewhat and we get back to our new normal, we're gonna to move to a fortnightly schedule here on The Range Report. So coming up this week, we speak to Northern Territory President Glenn Frew and we also visit the Alice Springs Pistol Club. So sit back and enjoy all the sights and sounds of the Northern Territory. G'day, I'm Glenn Frew. I'm the President of Pistol NT the peak sporting body for Olympic style shooting within the Northern Territory. So Glenn, uh, what a beautiful day, what a beautiful place to be in. And tell us a little bit about the Northern Territory, the structure and all the different clubs. Uh, so Northern Territory, we've got six clubs. We've got uh, Alice Springs, which you've been to already. Uh, we've got Jabiru Club, we've got Catherine. Um, we've got Tannock Creek Pistol Club, Darwin and Palmerston. Uh, we do have another range facility out at Owen Pelly and the, uh, the guys at uh, Jabiru Club actually maintain that facility out there. And a couple of clubs uh, host uh, some big events, um, Alice Springs with the Masters every two years, and hopefully uh, Darwin again with the uh, Arafura. Yeah, that's right. Um, Arafura Games uh, is on the cards. We've been lobbying heavily uh, to political parties to try and get pistol shooting back into the Arafura Games. It was on hiatus there for a good number of years. Um, if that is the case, then we're going to have to draw on all of the clubs within the NT uh, and maybe even clubs down south to provide the support that we need to run such an event up here. And having the Masters every two years in Alice, that, that's really good for that club and also for the Territory. Absolutely, yeah, it's, it's really good. Um, I don't know if you've been to the event, but uh, I really enjoyed my time there. Um, hopefully after coronavirus leaves us for a bit longer, uh, we can get the Masters games back into the calendar. Yes, I was hoping to, uh, to attend this year, but you're right, the virus wiped us out. So uh, uh, just another event that we've, we've uh, been able to stage in uh, 2020. Correct, yeah. Um, a couple of the clubs have mentioned to me a possibility of uh, them trying to host the Nationals again, the PAIWSF Nationals. Um, what do you think of that? I'm fully supportive of that. Um, I've been speaking to both Darwin and Palmerston Club. Um, to a lesser extent, uh, Bill Lowe. Uh, down in Alice Springs, who's our NRC. Um, I think that between the two clubs and uh, all of the people of the NT, I reckon we could run a, 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 an excellent Nationals. Uh, it may have to be split between both Darwin and, and Palmerston Club, but um, that's not too much of an issue. It may be that it might be a bit, little bit hot for some people at, at, uh, at Easter, so we might rethink the calendar. So Glenn, uh, as you know, uh, Pistol Australia provided uh, grants uh, this and last year to all the states. Um, what did the Northern Territory spend theirs on? Uh, yes, uh, thank you very much indeed for reminding me about that. Uh, another thank you to the PA and the PA executive uh, for coming up with that grant system again. Thank you, Noel. Uh, yeah, so uh, Pistol NT was able to purchase a number of entry-level pistols, 22 calibre, uh, pistols that we sent through to the different clubs so that on their open days they would have pistols to be able to use to be able to be used by uh, entry-level competitors. Well thank you so much for your hospitality all three clubs have made us feel so so welcome. We've spent 10 days up here um, don't want to go home quite frankly <laughs> rather stay here it's a fantastic place and uh, and again thank you to uh, yourself uh, to Nick, to Jonesy, to Bill, to Steve, to Chris, to everybody um, up here who have uh, made us feel very welcome. And it's great to uh, show the top end on the range report. No worries. Thank you very much indeed, Noel. G'day and welcome to Alice Springs. 
Uh, the club itself is uh, only 10 minutes out of um, Alice Springs itself. The club facilities are excellent facilities, have held Masters there a number of times. Um, Masters Games has recently been brought back onto the calendar. I'm Stephen Strawbridge, uh, President of Alice Springs Pistol Club. I've been here in the club for 30 years, started in 1990. President since 96 till uh, 05, then the secretary for about six years, then back as the president since. So it is the home of the Masters Games. Um, tell yes. us a little bit about that. What's the organisation like, the work, uh, the thrill? <laughs> um, yeah, well, it's been going since 86, every two years. I've been involved with it since, I think, it was 94 was the first time I shot in the Masters. Um, shot in every one of them since then. Uh, yeah, you meet a lot of people from all over the country mm -hmm. and the world. Yeah, Ray Andrews, our president, uh, keeps telling me how great that event is. He comes all the time, as you know. Yes, yes, no, Ray. Must be a lot of organisational work to, to get it off the ground. There, there, there is quite a lot of work, yeah. Yeah, we have Department of Sport and Recreation uh, who facilitate all this, and like, I can't remember how many actual different organisations, there's about 30 odd, you know, like footballs, soccer, shotgun, all that type of stuff. So a big event for Alice Springs, there must be a lot of people come to the town. Yes, there's anything up to 5,000 competitors for the week. That's, so, that's a lot of people, a lot yes. of people. And it must be good for all of you people here to, to have all those people come from around the country and old friends, must be a lot of camaraderie. Oh, there is, certainly yeah. is, yeah. Uh, a lot of people keep coming back, been coming back for many years. Uh, and they, and you always get new faces coming through. Yeah, I can, I can imagine it's uh, be a very, very special time getting to see those people every couple of years. Yeah. So it would have been disappointing this year because of that dreaded virus that seems to get all of us has uh, put it off for two years. Uh, yeah, very disappointing, but you can understand the situation, yeah. Confident it'll be on again in two years? Yes. Good, that's <laughs> excellent. Because this time I want to come up and shoot. <laughs> so it's going to be good. So um, tell me, what's, the, what's your favourite part of the club? What, what part do you like the most? Just getting out here and participating. And, and what do you shoot yourself? Everything. Everything. <laughs> And the favourite then? I like the centre fire matches, rapid fire, black powder 25, mm. yeah, service matches. The, the ranges here are certainly fantastic. I, uh, we've done some filming here, as you know. The air pistol range is magnificent too. It's a lot of work's gone in there. Yes, certainly did. It's one of the best I've seen. It's pretty good, yes. Yeah. It's been to quite a few around Australia, probably as good as any of the ranges that don't have the uh, electronic targets. And tell me, why do you like living in Alice Springs? Job, climate, <laughs> family, family. <laughs> People, yeah. It just seems like it's a, it's a nice town. I've only been here a few hours, so it's hard to say, but yeah, it seems like it's a nice town. People rave about it. Seems that when you come to Alice Springs, you stay here. Yeah, I came, I went to school here. Okay. Uh, 72, left here in 76, came back in 1980 for 12 months. Okay, and stayed. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly, uh, the ranges are in good condition, they, it looks fantastic. And the backdrop, having the, the little hill there is, is magnificent. I saw kangaroos hopping around the place today. Yes, they're always there, and even in the competitions, that you see them up around the hills. Judging. Maybe they should become judges. Yes. <laughs> I know they're safe up around here. <laughs> That's good. They haven't seen me shoot yet. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the hospitality. Thank you for having us here. And uh, it's really good to have uh, Alice Springs Pistol Club on the range report. Thank you. Thank you. Committee member in the Alice Springs 
pistol club and I've been also the public officer and I've been shooting with the club since 1970 <laughs> with a few years break and uh, various yeah I guess I've occupied all of the positions in the in the club hierarchy and uh, including even being top gun. <laughs> when did you arrive in Alice Springs and, and in, where did you come from? I came from uh, British Columbia from Canada um, so I had a job over here with, with CSRO and, uh, and I came from a hunting and fishing uh, childhood and background and when I got over here there was nothing to hunt or fish so I took up pistol shooting. <laughs> and uh, yeah, some of the people that I worked with uh, got me into the, brought me into the club here and uh, that was 1970 so we've been shooting ever since then. So, uh, and that was uh, <clears throat> one of the um, Big feature. One of the best features, I guess, of when I started out was was free pistol match. Uh, I guess it's uh, similar to shooting with a rifle or something, and uh, and that was a yeah one of my matches that I really enjoyed most and did best at. So I kept at that. Mm -hmm. And you uh, you spent some time in Canberra, the national capital, at uh, the Canberra National Pistol Club. Yeah, I had a really great three years down there. That was when uh, when Chris Phillips and Wayne Hill were there, and Peter Anderson and Bob Campbell, and uh, oh, we can go on. If I could remember their names, <laughs> we can go on and on and on. <laughs> but there's some great great people down. That was with the Canberra Club, and then the National Club was separate at the time. But uh, eventually, they combined forces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, they most certainly have. That's my club now. Um, yeah, they have combined. Yeah. yeah it's a great club. And after Canberra, you went to? Uh, well, I came back to Alice Springs then. Yep. So, <coughs> okay. But, um, yeah, we had lots of yeah, lots of developmental problems, issues, I guess, with people yeah, back in the day when we had used to have 50, 60 members in the club and there were factions developing. And when I came back, I was looked upon as the peacemaker so we could get the club back functioning again. So it was, uh, yeah, it all worked out, worked out really well. And what do you prefer to shoot? Uh, I really like free pistol, but uh, my arm's not quite as steady as it used to be, so uh, and uh, and I can only find enough time to reload for air pistols. So <laughs> putting together all the bullets for for center fire and whatever, I, I quite like that match too. But uh, it's just yeah, too many things to do. And why do you like Alice Springs? Uh, climate, uh, lack of people. Um, so I keep telling all my Sydney friends that. I really like you and I really love for you to stay where you are because <laughs> but come and visit. <laughs> so it's uh, it's uh, it's a nice town it, it appears to be although it's a little bit cold today I was expecting 32 degrees not 12 but that's that's <laughs> Well thank you for bringing the rain rain with you. We've been looking for rain for 2 years now and this one looks like it's going to be a good one. So it's good. Uh, yeah. Not sure I want to be called the rainmaker but <laughs> that's, a, that's another story. Um, Masters Games. Uh, what do you do during the Masters Games? Uh, Masters Games. So we were part of the uh, initi initiation of the first Masters Games in Australia. So that, uh, and that started in 1986, and uh, we got that up and going here with the help of the, the NT government, and and they've just been the biggest help uh, to club, yeah, sporting all sporting clubs in Alice Springs. But yeah, we, we particularly appreciated their efforts and and all of the organization that they put in behind the scenes to make things much easier for us. All we had to do was worry about the shooting and, and they could organize the people and the entries and all that sort of thing. So, but uh, it's been, yeah, 1986, so it's 30, 30 years now, is it? Uh, 86, and then 34 years. <laughs> Plus, yeah. And I've, uh, I have registered for all of those events. Uh, keep Very good. Peter Anderson was uh, used to uh, Try to. He was one of the people who was registered for everyone until he stopped coming here, maybe what six years ago, I guess, or eight years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's a rumor the Arafura Games were here once. No, they weren't here. They were in okay. Darwin, but we yep. organised them from here. Okay. So when yep. I ran the uh, pistol NT, um, <clears throat> along with a very good set of people from here, and uh, we made sure we had representatives from all of the clubs up and down the the track and there were more more clubs then as well so um, I guess we probably had 350 members through the territory and uh, but <clears throat> with the help of uh, my good friend Bill Ingram who was in Darwin and uh, looking for work to do and whatever 
in collaboration with Peter Anderson that he got the uh, the Arafura got pistol shooting into the Arafura games, and that was in the, um, I've forgotten the date, sometime in that early in the mid 90s, I guess, somewhere in that area, that period. So, but <clears throat> because it was deemed to be a pistol NT event as opposed to a a Darwin Pistol Club event, so we had to coerce the Darwin Pistol Club people into allowing us to host the <laughs> Arafura Games at the Darwin Club because they had the best facilities and they just had Mickets Creek had just been built, so it was all super duper range and, and the government was really, really adamant that the range, that the uh, shoot had to be held at the, at the Mickets Creek range, so, uh, but that ran really well for quite a number of years and we had some really good people on the ground up there to to make sure it happened on the ground too. So uh, yeah, there's been a lot of really really good people through shooting, through oak shooting in the territory. Hopefully pistol shooting will be back in uh, the Arafura games in three years. Um, we were very confident we were in this time. We spent a lot of time working with Shooting Australia, PNT uh, and the Arafura games people and the government was very supportive. Um, as we know, it's been put off because of COVID, but uh, we're pretty confident we're going to get back into it. Yeah, mm, no, I think it's a really good move, and it, and it was really good for for shooters in Australia, not just mm. for the Darwin people and the people coming across from overseas countries. But um, even back then, it was deemed to be a training ground for uh, upcoming uh, young shooters who wanted to get ex international experience, so they could mm. be rubbing shoulders with these people that were coming from all the countries around uh, the countries to the north and, and whatever so there was just a lot of good competition like one year we had the japanese uh, junior team come down uh, and they sent the whole team down to compete the uh, at the rfu games and, and <clears throat> i was the compare or that it would be uh, the trophy presenter and that sort of thing and learning how to pronounced Japanese names was <laughs> interesting yeah so, but they told me I did a good job <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a very difficult language yeah most certainly well the Oceania Federation was supporting our bid for the Arafura games and encouraging their countries to attend so with a bit of luck we'll be back in and there'll be a, a international field there which will be fantastic it'll be really good news and, and good as yeah well, I'll come back to shooting and get it, see if I can get one of the few entry forms into that you know, I think you said it was going to be limited in terms of numbers and we'd like to advertise that we need more members uh, that uh, and getting more members is something that we, we hear that Pistol Australia has set up several efforts and programs to try to facilitate mm -hmm. that and we'd like to thank you guys very much for for doing that but also I guess we need to partake and, and uh, somehow we need to to get more members back into the club, so it's uh, so we can get up around uh, 30 or 40. Uh, 40 is a good comfortable number, so if we can get back up around that, then, then Steve doesn't have to be the, the president, the secretary, and the treasurer, and the, <laughs> and the chief grounds man, and, <laughs> and the best shooter as well. Thank you for your hospitality. I, as you know, you picked me up and you're dropping me off, so I really appreciate it. Um, and I've had a great time, and uh, thanks for being on the Range Report. Well, that wraps up another episode of The Range Report. Make sure you like and share our content on social media. I'm Mike on behalf of the team. We'll see you in two weeks when we're going to visit the Darwin Pistol Club. That's the 18th of November here on The Range Report. Bye for now.